Hello everyone, my name is Veer and today we are going to see how we can you know find the multiple elements of same type in Cypress and how we can you know interact or you know uh, get the text from it. Okay, so quickly I'll show what we are trying to do today. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing is uh, if you can see on the left hand side right uh, we see these menu menu items. Okay, so what we'll try to do is we'll try to get the text of each and every menu item and we'll try to compare whether the value is exactly same like dashboard catalog sales customer promotion content management or not okay so for ready reference what i have done i had written some code okay i'll, I'll show you uh, what exactly we are trying to do uh, over here okay so this is the first locator that we have used okay so i'll just show you that uh, meanwhile i'll just open this cypress as well so it, it takes some time you know so that's why i kept it on so let me just open the developers tool and if i just you know do control f and let's try to find it. Okay, so let me just go to the selector shop and if you try to you Okay. so if you can see <coughs> this is the x path that uh, sorry this is the css selector uh, that has been used in order to you know uh, get this particular text or say element not the text the element itself okay from this particular left hand side menu so if you can see this is the nothing but ul each ul has uh, this is an order list an order list have each list item this this is indicated by li okay and li has a and a has p so the p actually contains the text if you can just uh, navigate to one of this particular thing okay let me just try to grab this. so if you can see this is the ul okay uh, if you can see right on the left hand side it has highlighted the entire thing then you can see a li item and a li item has a link as well as a paragraph Okay, so that way we built this particular uh, CSS selector. Okay, uh, and after that CSS selector, what we have done, we had uh, um, so in Cypress there is one method called as as where you can uh, keep all these elements uh, and store it in one variable. It's like you know you, you are creating a lice for this list. Okay. <clears throat> and once that is done, what we have done, we had used uh, so if you wanted to loop around a uh, list of elements right you can use uh, each method which has you know it's kind of a function uh, which uh, has item index and list as you know three parameters okay and on that list you can you know iterate over okay so after that what we have used we have used one method called as cy dot wrap uh, and we had passed the first item okay so it this item is nothing but the current item it will it will pick and uh, then we have used assertion uh, which checks for the content uh, which checks for the text basically okay and uh, we had defined one list over here if you can see uh, we had defined one uh, array of menu item list okay so basically uh, these are nothing but the text values okay and here what are uh, what we are saying is pick the menu list at index so it will first of all it will pick at the zeroth index then it will pick at the one and it will go on till the all the items from the list are uh, processed okay <clears throat> that way it will execute uh, so okay so i'll just comment out this particular code i'll explain you the next part after we execute uh, first of all see the execution for this okay how this happens okay so i'll just uh, initialize the cypress again And let's try to run it on Chrome. And just click on the spec file.
and one more thing i have done over here is you know i changed the viewport to you know the bigger resolution if you can see uh, so in cypress there is one let me just show you that as well so in cypress there is cy dot viewport command where you can set the resolution of you know how, how you wanted to see the content okay so that i have added now first of all what it will do it will try to open the website first and then it will try to log in and it should you know get the uh, list of menu items and for each menu item it will try to get the text and once the text is received it try to compare with the value from this particular uh, constant array that we have defined okay so let's see whether uh, that is happening correctly or not okay now if you can see the page has been loaded uh, it, it is trying to load basically it, it has not yet been loaded okay so it, once the page is loaded it will try to get the uh, this particular menu item and it will try to assert okay so if you can see it, it has started asserting the values so if you can see it has asserted all the content okay first it has asserted dashboard okay then the catalog okay then the sales okay then the customer promotions content management configurations system okay reports and help so each and everything it has asserted okay uh, you can use the same process to you know identify the sub menu items okay so like under catalog you wanted to get the you know items okay so so for that also i uh, you know quickly written some code and i'll explain you that as well okay <clears throat> okay so before that uh, this is the one way you know you can assert uh, there is another way to do this is you know using the uh, chai assertion expect you know where you can uh, get the text uh, using the uh, you know this is the jquery uh, syntax where you know cypress you had passed the item and you can get the text okay and here we had applied trim as well because if i'll, I'll just show you before because you know if you can see uh, this dashboard it has some white spaces added to the uh, this particular text okay so in order to remove that and we wanted to exactly check that's why you know we had used this trim function and if you run it again okay so it should uh, you know do the same it should give you the same results that we had received now okay, so let's check with that as well so if you can see it has now trying to compare with equal Okay, so and see the test is given pass and all the menu items it has verified. Okay, now next step what uh, we wanted to tell, I'll show you that. So let's say you wanted to uh, click on this item and then retrieve the list of items. Okay, uh, under it, how you can do that? So again, you have to use the same uh, methodology. Okay, so uh, let me just uncomment this particular code and then I'll tell you what exactly this code does. Okay so what uh what here i'm trying to do is i'm uh so we have this list of menu items the upper menu items okay then what we have to do we have to click on it so that i can get the list of sub menu items that are present inside that okay so for that what we have done we have just uh checked so again uh, i checked over index is greater than one because Currently, if you can see, we are on this dashboard page, so we don't need to click on it. We need to click from the next uh, next n words. Okay, so for that, uh, I have skipped for the first, and then I used uh, the cy dot get, and then I passed this particular item, and then clicked on it. Okay, so once I click on it, it expands that particular section. Okay, so once that uh, section is expanded. Then I have you know again used the cy dot 
this particular method and i had uh, renamed as a sub menu list okay so it, it uh, sorry no, not renamed i uh, created a one alias for it again as a sub menu list okay so let me just quickly run this as well and so that you will be you know able to see the the difference or you know what exactly it will do <coughs> So if we can it has first asserted everything okay now if you can see it has clicked on the sales customers okay then it clicked on promotions content management configuration system okay reports and help okay and if you can see it has given you the list of you know how many sub menu items it has so if you can see it has six okay then it has six then it has seven then it has four okay then the next one has content management has eight then uh, its configuration has 70 then you know again the next has uh, eight and last one has six so similarly you know you can like we had asserted on the main so menu list you can do the assertion uh, you can you know again define some sub array list or array so array for the sub menu items and you can you know assert on that so this will help you you know to verify the menu and its sub menu items uh, with very you know less amount of code you can create a you know common method for these uh, elements or a custom command uh, we'll see how we can create the custom command uh, in the future videos but uh, you can keep in the mind that you can create a custom command for it and that same command can be used to get the menu list item or a sub menu list item okay so uh, this is the way you know you can interact with the list of items and you know you can get how you can you know get the text of a element uh, in cypress okay so that's it for this video guys uh, thank you thanks for watching